Mechanics always starts with kinematics. So in this class, I like to give simple definitions of things. So I'll define kinematics as describing motion with equations and graphs. Describing motion with equations and graphs. In kinematics, you don't explain why something moves a certain way. You just describe how it moves mathematically. We'll explain why it moves a certain way later when we get to Newton's laws. So we're going to describe, we're going to learn about kinematics through several examples. So let's look at example one. And example one is a motionless body. This is the simplest example we can do. A motionless body, for example, would be me on a dance floor is a good example of a motionless body. However, in physics, when we say body, we don't usually mean, you know, your body. We just usually mean any object that has mass that we can think about its motion is usually what a body is. So in this case, our example is going to be this 1.8 kilogram stainless steel sphere that I call Hal that's going to roll around on this one dimensional track. Okay, so say hello, Hal. Hal is going to be motionless. It's going to sit right there. So let's draw our experiment here. So here's Hal. Here's sort of the solid track. And we want to describe this mathematically. We want to describe it with equations and graphs. So describe, to describe the position of something mathematically, we have to draw an axis. All right. So this, we'll call this the x-axis. So this way is plus x, and we'll put the origin where x equals 0 right there. And we can think about where Hal is on the axis. That would be the uh, equation part. And we can make a plot of where he is on the axis. That would be the graph part. Okay. So let's see, where is Hal? Where are you, Hal? Oh, I have to look. I forgot. So I have my coordinate system over here. This is the origin. He's at about 40 centimeters. So if we wanted to mark it here, it would be at 40 centimeters on the x-axis. Um, let's look at the equation that would describe this very simple example of something sitting perfectly still. The equation would simply be x equals 40, and the unit is centimeters. So x we'll call the position, which equals where, I don't really want an equal sign, where something sits on an axis. All right. It's usually a function of time in kinematics. But in this case, it's a constant because Hal isn't moving. He's just sitting there. So that's the equation, x equals 40 centimeters. Uh, let's look at the graph. Let's see, the graph is here. And in kinematics, when you make a graph, you always put time on the horizontal axis. You may be used to calling this the x-axis, the flat one, the, the x, the horizontal, the x. You've got to get over that, because in physics, we put anything anywhere. So in this case, x is going to be on the vertical axis. You might occasionally hear a physics student say, I put x on the y-axis, because they meant they put x on the vertical. So you got to start calling them horizontal and vertical, or abscissa and ordinate if you want to go old-fashioned. So in kinematics, we always have our time on the horizontal axis. And basically, we are telling the story of the mass or of the body. What happened to the body in time? Well, we'll put the origin here. At time equals 0, where was the body? Uh, it was at 40 centimeters. So we'll put a plot here. We'll realize that that is 40 and put a point there. And we'll wait a few seconds, right? Wait a few seconds and say, where is it? Still at 40. So we put another plot there. Let me wait a few more seconds. Say this was 3 seconds. And we waited a few more seconds. And where is it? 40. Right? So these kinematic plots are literally just a plot of what happened. In this case, the position versus time. So that's the simplest kinematics plot you can get, something that is just not moving. And it's just a flat line because the position didn't change versus time. It's as far down as we can go. They'll get more complicated than that as we go. But that's the beginning. That's how we get started in kinematics.